Hey, y'all. Yeah, I'm out in the shed. But I don't have a project video for you this week. This was about the best place I could find to record this. <laughs> Lots going on in and around the house. I don't have a video tutorial for you this week. So what I thought I would do is I would answer the top questions I get as far as the YouTube videos and my YouTube channel are concerned. Easily, the most popular thing that I've been asked in the last couple of months are, do you have any videos on Vectrix Photo VCar? The short answer is, no, I don't have any videos on uh, Photo VCar. The long answer is, I own the program. I just haven't been able to get into it, set down, and learn how to use it yet. Now, I do have plans on making some photo vCarb videos, but as I haven't even used it yet, I don't think it's right for me to attempt to tell somebody else how to use software that I don't even know is going to work for me. So, have some patience with me on that. There will be some photo vCarb videos coming but they may not be until after the new year. I just don't see right now having the time to sit down and learn to use it enough to do any kind of a video tutorial justice with it, okay? I do have it in the plans. It's on the list. Uh, I just got to get the time to do it. The second most popular question is, do I have any videos on double-sided machining or two-sided machining? And again, the short answer is, no, I do not. The long answer is, some will be coming soon. I have a couple of projects that I need to get done that will involve double-sided machining. They're rather simple, and I'm going to incorporate it into another 3D carve, possibly. But I have two projects coming up that will need some double-sided machining, and I'm going to take it step by step. I'll go into the design process within Aspire or VCarve and then actually come out here into the shop, mount the piece, cut the first side, flip the piece over, cut the second side. And hopefully that'll satisfy that curiosity. I'm eager to get it started myself because as I say, I have two projects going or coming up that will need a double side machining. So look for those possibly at the end of this year, maybe a little sooner. I don't know. At the very most, that will be right after the new year. It's just going to depend on a couple of things. As a brief aside for folks who are wondering why I keep looking over here, I've got my laptop set up over here, and that's going to bring me into the third part, the third question that I'm going to answer in this video, and that is, do you have a master index of all of the videos you've put out for the Vectric software for the absolute beginner, the uh, V carving for the absolute beginner, any of those? Is there a master index? And the short answer is yes. For the long answer, let's go over to the screen capture on the computer. Here we have a YouTube watch page. This is as if you were watching a video on YouTube. It's my double side, no double sided tape video, but the video itself is not important. You watch the video, you like it, you want to look for more. There are a couple of ways of doing it. One is to scroll down just below the video window. Now, you will not see these two buttons here. These are for me because I own the channel. What you'll see is a subscribe button over here and then a little bell button. If you want to subscribe to my channel, click on that subscribe button. And if you click on that little bell, you'll get a notification every time I post a video. If you look over here, below the video, below the title, there's my logo and there's my name. If you look at my cursor, that's a link. If you click on my name, that'll take you to my YouTube channel homepage where my I'll pause that real quick, where my channel trailer will pop up, in case you've never seen it, don't know anything about me. 
But the important things to look for are right here. Here is my banner, and over here are links to my social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and my website, the shop page on my website. But the important thing to look at as far as a master index is this link right here, Playlists. If you click on Playlists, it'll take you to this page right here. You scroll down, and these are all of the playlists that I have created. Every video that I've posted is in a playlist. So here you see three carving, 3D carving for beginners, my channel updates, there's two videos in the basic bitmap tracing and node editing, and over here, click on this little arrow to take you to more, V carving for the absolute beginner, C and C for the absolute beginner. This is the master list right here. That's the master index for all of my Vectric for the absolute beginner videos. If you click on the link down here, view full playlist, you click on that, it'll take you to this page. And here are all of the videos in order. Every time I post a new video, I will add it to this playlist. So there they are from start to finish in order for you to peruse. Now let me go back one page here go back to the playlist link. If you look up here, it says play all. If you click on this link, it'll open up the first video in the series. I'll pause that just so we don't get confusing audio. And off to the side is a list of all of the videos in this series in order. If you have autoplay turned on, when the first video ends, the second video will begin. You can pause at any time, come back to the playlist, you can bookmark this playlist, but this is the master index. This is where you can find all of my videos from start to finish in order. Some of these videos are on more than one playlist. They may be relevant to more than one topic. So that does happen, just forewarned is forearmed. That's the easy way to find it. CNC for the absolute beginner is the big one. Then you have V carving, which is a separate playlist, bitmap tracing and node editing. I mean, there are all kinds of playlists on this page. Again, go to my channel page by clicking the link to my name under any video. Come down here and go to Playlists, and you'll find the index there. That's it for this video. I'm thinking about making this maybe a monthly regular feature where I'll take read some comments, answer some questions, and see where that goes. I always get some great comments from you guys. I get a lot of emails. I get a lot of private messages from my friends on my social media, and that's where I get a lot of my ideas. I get ideas from you. So if I've not covered a topic that is uh, relevant to Vectric software, hit me up. I mean, the worst that can happen is I'll tell you I've never done that before, and I'll try to send you in the right direction. Uh, again, I can't help you tech support your machine. Uh, I've had uh, emails from folks who have like Shop Saber or uh, even like a Bob CNC E3 or something like that. I don't know your machine. Your best bet is to go back to that manufacturer's website, be it, you know, CNC Shark or uh, Bob CNC, and look for a link to the support forum. Almost Every CNC manufacturer or even the DIY kits have a support forum on their website. And these are the people who know your machine. So if you're having trouble with a touch plate on your Shape Oco, I can almost guarantee you are not the first person to have that question. That somebody over on the Shape Oco support forum has asked that question and found a solution. 
but I really cannot help you tech support your machine. I don't know any other equipment besides the Gatton CNC that I use right here. If you have a Gatton CNC question, I would heartily suggest that you join the Gatton CNC Facebook group and post your questions over there. There are hundreds of Gatton CNC builders and users over there who are more than eager to answer just about any question you have. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out right here, as I said a couple of minutes ago before I started rambling. If you'd like to follow along with my further CNC adventures, I do hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. If you'd like for this to become maybe a monthly feature where I'm answering comments or answering your questions here in this kind of a format, let me know. Leave a comment down below. And if there's enough support for something like this, if you think it's a good idea, I'm more than happy to do it. But until then, uh, once again, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Whether you subscribe to my channel or not, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch, and y'all take care.